crypto scam. 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 Wait a minute. Let's go through. What is crypto? Why do we need it? And the dark side of crypto. <laughs> So, a long time ago, we used to trade something for something else of the same value. Like a jackfruit for a bag of rice. That is known as the barter system. But here comes the problem. Imagine selling a dog for a horse. Like a person might be happy selling their horse but might not want a dog. That's where a standard of value like gold coins, silver coins, etc. came in. Because gold had value, you know. It's not there in abundant quantity that could be used for trade. So the barter system problem was solved. Now I could sell my horse and get gold, which I can use to buy other stuff with that I like. But then the government came in and told us they would keep a reserve of gold and print equal amount of paper cash equal to the amount of gold available so we don't have to carry blocks of gold but rather weightless papers which our government has confirmed its value for but then came a problem government started to print money without keeping gold aside that brought big problems like inflation oh. can you get to your point okay 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 <laughs> That's where cryptocurrency is coming. Rather than banks controlling our money, it's controlled by us. In a way, that's known as decentralized control or decentralization. In short, all the transactions that happen with cryptocurrencies are in this big table known as a ledger. And this ledger is in a lot of people's computer. So you might be like, if it is in my computer, why can't I change? that I have billions of cryptocurrencies in my table. So I'll have billion dollars. Well, no. Why? Because the computer will go and verify or ask other computers, does this person own this much crypto? It will say no because the real information is with them. They will look at that table that they have and they'll say, wait, he doesn't own that much Bitcoin. But if you buy something with crypto, that will get updated in all the tables or ledgers. Also, transactions can happen anywhere in the world with no exchange rates, no interest rates. And some cryptocurrencies even offer these transactions with no transaction fees at all. But what are the cryptocurrencies? Well, people nowadays invest in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, then what is there? Cardano and a lot more using their traditional currencies like rupees, dollars and a lot more. So when the values of these cryptocurrencies goes up, they withdraw it in dollars, rupees, etc, etc, like, which might be worth double or even more than that. But sometimes its value can even go down when no one is investing in Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrencies. Now, what is this Bitcoin, Ethereum and all that? Let me tell you. So, the Bitcoin is known as the digital gold. The Ethereum is known as the crude oil. Another one is Cardano, which is known as technologically superior to many other cryptocurrencies. Okay. Wow. So, hi. Technologically superior one. Another one is Ripple. I guess it's just a popular choice among investors. These are just the most popular ones. There are so many more cryptocurrencies. Remember, this is not financial advice. You're free to invest in whatever you want. Now, it's time for the dark side of crypto. One main issue is that because there are a lot of cryptocurrencies, some of them turn out to be scams. Like the one coin. Also, the fact that it's volatile, the value of cryptocurrencies goes up and down, up and down, depending on the news. Imagine Elon Musk is right, today Dogecoin is gonna go up, it will go up. If Ripple wins a court case, it will go up. But sometimes the vice versa happens, it can go down too. Just like we have fake currency, phones, watches, pens, there are a lot of fake cryptocurrencies too. It's actually really easy to create them. So always do your research on what you're investing in and don't trust anyone blindly, even me. <laughs> so to do your research, you can go to a lot of websites like CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko or just ask your AI assistant. Some people believe cryptocurrency is perfect for criminals. But let's look at the numbers. 
while criminal cash transactions are at 2.38 criminal crypto transactions are at 0.15 only and it has been decreasing over the years so for all the criminal buddies out there use cash for transactions